What's up good people, how you all doing? Cosmic Carry here and as part of my celebration of reaching 100 subscribers this weekend I'm releasing another video celebrating that fact and today I will be purchasing a new tank a brand new tank I know you guys were expecting the Tortoise or the Death Star but unfortunately that is not going to happen uh, this month it's a surprise and uh, but basically this month uh, as usual at the end of the month I, I've been converting you know I bought my uh, pre 30 days of premium uh, I converted a whole bunch of tank XP uh, I think it was around the 200,000 mark and I have left over some gold coins because I'm going to be purchasing a brand new tank. So uh, just to show you where I am on the British TD line, I have reached the Tortoise. I haven't purchased it, but I have reached the Tier 9 Tortoise. Uh, whether or not I'm going to buy it, we shall see. But anyway, uh, I wouldn't buy it right now anyway because I don't buy stock tanks. I don't like buying stock tanks. I don't like playing stock tanks. I believe that if you play stock tanks, you are at a serious disadvantage. Uh, you know, you're doing the grind. You have to do the grind. And uh, when I did you did the grind, when I did, the, you know, play uh, World of Tanks the normal way, which is doing the grind, you know, getting each and every uh, package um, the slow and hard way. I hated it. You know, take a look at the Mark III here. The Tortoise Mark III. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, look at the damage roll. 400, 400, 515. Now, if you take a look at the stock tank, look at the damage roll. 188 to 313. So, if... This is my opinion. Keep that in mind. It's my opinion. If you're playing... If you, you know, purchase the stock tank, you get put into tier 9 games you know other tortoises also tier 9 but the thing is they're not gonna have the stock majority of the time they're not gonna have you know the stock gun they're gonna have the mark 3 gun you know and I believe that puts you at a serious serious disadvantage you know and not only that you don't have to play the stock tank you know I, I if I was you know wanted to grind out the tortoise I'd keep rolling in my tier 8 until I had enough money to purchase my tortoise purchase mark 2 and to purchase mark 3 you know and that's how I, how I was doing you know the daily grind uh, that's how I was doing it you know initially I was doing it like everybody else was doing it you know um, but that's not how I do the grind anymore but anyhow on to the main uh, purpose of this um, video which is I am going to purchase my brand new tank yes ladies and gentlemen I am going to be purchasing the TOG 2 yes indeed the TOG 2 <laughs> this is not a tank it's a friggin battleship it's a friggin submarine it's not a tank you know the last thing it is is a tank it's just a, a battleship on 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 tracks on wheels you know it's a submarine that goes on land <laughs> that's what it is it's not a tank it's a freaking you know 1400 hit points unbelievable amount of hit points but there, there's a reason for this i'll come back to it uh shell damage nothing spectacular 113 to 188 but it is compensated for the rate of fire 12 rounds per minute that means every five seconds you're going to be unloading you're going to be unloading a shell into your enemy that's why you know the shell damage you know isn't that high but those hit points 1400 take a look at the other tier six uh, tanks 800 hit points 88 800 hit points cromwell 700 hit points so basically a humongous amount of hit points unbelievable amount of hit points you know on the on the talk big beautiful talk but um the reason for this amount of hit points in, in my opinion you know from what i can gather is because the talk is a slow ass bitch and that's the first thing and the second thing it is such a humongous target I mean it is if not you know 
I know the mouse is not in the game. Uh, but look at it. It's it's just a and it's flat. It's just flat everywhere. You know, it's a humongous target. It's one of the biggest targets. It's like it could be on a on a shooting range, and a, a blind person could you know hit the thing. You know, seriously. And there's no slopes armor. You, you know, it's just a. I mean, it's unbelievable. You know how big it is. You know, and that's that's why it's got so many hit points not great armor and also f very flat armor you know but um so yeah that's what i got i got the talk <laughs> the big beautiful talk i know you were expecting the uh, the tortoise or the death star but you're gonna have to wait until another day so let's get this big beauty out so like i said uh, very slow big humongous target but compensated for that is the fact that it's got a humongous amount of hit points gun reloads really quickly five rounds um, around every five seconds and yeah we are good to go here we're just gonna kit her out and we gotta give her a name of course you know because I give all my ladies names you know but I, I, you know, I was, I figured this is going to be like the E100, you know, when I got in it, I was expecting fantastic, magical, wonderful things, and it wasn't to be, it wasn't the case, you gotta, you know, just because you got a big badass doesn't mean you're going to be a big badass, you gotta learn the tank, you gotta be one with the tank, you must be one with the tank, you gotta, you gotta learn its strengths, you gotta learn its weaknesses, uh, its capabilities, its limitations, what it can do, what it can't do, you know, you gotta learn all these things and take advantage of them and hide its weaknesses and, you know, all of that good stuff, you know. Uh, it's mostly gonna be, you know, a learning curve. It's just like every other tank, you know. It, um, just like with the 100, you know, it's just a it's a learning curve and that's what it is you know what I mean that's what it is the princess yes indeed the princess I, I skipped yeah uh, uh, whatever that um not a live con by the way but um there she is the princess the princess she's beautiful she's beautiful Most probably, um, I, I'm, not, I'm still not sure if I go for the tortoise, you know, because it will, next month when I um, convert my tank XP, um, you know, I might have enough for the Death Star, I might not. So if I have enough for the Death Star, I'm not going to bother with the tortoise, I'll skip it, maybe come back to it, you know, at a later date. I don't know, we shall see. You know, I could buy the friggin', you know, whatever right now, but. You know, I could buy a humongous amount of gold coins, but I'm not prepared to spend, you know, a whole buttload of money on this on this game. You know, I'll spend a little bit, you know, and that's about it. You know, I'll keep it going. I'll maintain, you know, uh, you know, well, anyway, what I'm trying to say is, you know, I know, I know a lot of people out there don't have money to spend on gold coins and they have to, you know, um... Uh, grind out the tanks their old fashioned way they don't have even access to premium I get that I understand that you know I was 20 once I didn't have a pot to piss in you know I understand that but things have changed you know I'm in a different place in my life right now and I can spend a little bit of money and I mean a little bit of money each month on the game that I do love you know and I do love this game World of Tanks been waiting for it forever to come out on Xbox 360. Okay, so there she is. <laughs> yeah, you expecting Jack Sparrow to be on the top, you know, going army mates forward. <laughs> this is literally my first game. This was literally my very first game, and uh, this is Abbey. Yeah, it's not Fisherman's Bay. It's Abbey, but this was literally first time that I rolled out in my talk big beautiful talk 
see I was, I was debating where to go and I decided you know what I'm gonna go straight into town because I've never been actually into town you know I did actually uh, last night I played the dog all evening you know see coming up here to this ridge this is what I mean you know I don't understand it's this tank could I have got stuck there you know See, I've got to figure all these things out. Look at this. <laughs> He's looking at me. <laughs> He's checking my, me out. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm bad. I'm bad. <laughs> oh, he's giving me a nice friendly shove. <laughs> I don't think it's doing any good, buddy. But you go for it. <laughs> you go for it. <laughs> But yeah, I've literally I've never been to uh, the village here, to the town here on Abbey. It's Abbey, yeah. Uh, so you know, brand new tank. I'm gonna do something new. But you know, you, I haven't had a chance to go into the town because of the sucky map rotation, you know. But we, yesterday when I played the talk, I played it all evening. Not that many games actually. I got on pretty late. But uh, Abbey and Fisherman's Bay were just coming up non-stop. So, possibly, maybe, they've done a mini-update. They've snuck in a mini-update in there, maybe. I, I haven't got a clue, you know. But it, it has been, they have been coming up. You know, last night, they were coming up non-stop. Uh, I think I played a couple of games in my E100 and, you know. But anyhow, see, this is all new to me, this area here. You know, this is all new to me. So checking out, the, as you can see, the gun depression, nothing spectacular. So let's see what kind of damage roll we get on this guy. 134. Man, this big, big ass tank. It's like you're on a sailboat. 148. Pretty, a very quick reload time. Look at that. Very quick. So this looks like it's. Uh, this looks like looked like it was the main plaza or something like the main square of the. Oh, she's so slow. She's so slow. If I was in my 100, I'd be up here right now brawling. First kill, Boyakasha. So this is marble columns. Very nice for you American subscribers. I know about the marble columns. You gotta get yourself some marble columns. Saturday Night Night Live. I know all about that. <laughs> I lived in the States for a while. See, I get. I was. It's like you you can't go through here 149 yep yeah. brawling with a head sir and there we go second kill very nice good to go very slow though I mean you're gonna miss like a good like 25 percent of the of the battle you know because you're so slow 155. Nice reload. I think I'm safe in here from the artillery. Well, who the hell knows actually? Let's keep watching and see. Very quick reload. I like that. That's something I can get used to actually. A tier 6 tank with a nice quick reload time. Oh, didn't let, didn't let it zoom in. Still a good amount of hit points. 1,268. Big beautiful machine. So I'm going to try attempt to... Can you hear it? I can hear it. Beep, 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 beep. Beep. <laughs> so two kills under my belt. Very happy. 
See, this is just like the first game in an E100. I got like a whole bunch of kills, a, a, a ram, you know. I was just squishing tanks and I thought, wow, I'm Superman. You know, and you kind of, with that first game, I got such a big head. You know, and then I went on to have a bunch of defeats and I was like, oh, I was humbled by my crappy knowledge of my a brand new tank. So I'm gonna, I've learned that lesson. I'm not going to do that again, you know, because this was a pretty good game, you know, it was a good game for a first game, you know, so first game, first victory, oh, of course, a bunch of awards because it's my first time playing, oh, thank you, thank you for the awards, keep them coming, yeah, pretty happy with that, good to go, anyway, thank you so much, 100 subscribers, take it easy, guys. Adios muchachos.